When I go to New York City, I like to go to the Metropolitan Opera House to enjoy some beautiful music, but I also love seeing the lights glimmering above. They look like snowflakes to me. To some people, like constellations, but to me, snowflakes. And I just read that the creator, Hans Harald Roth, made them by accident when some paint spilled on his design and he drew some lines over it. And when he showed it to the people in charge, they loved them. And that's another example of art sometimes being a happy accident. What's up everybody, it's Missy Barr and today I am going to do a snowflake out of origami kites. So I'm going to start with the smaller blue paper and fold it in half to make a triangle. And all of these were cut in perfect squares, kind of perfect, as perfect as you can get them. Okay, so the same length on each side. Then I create my kite by folding inwards like this. So I do this a lot of times. Let's try it again. It has to be like a diamond or a rhombus, right? And I'm like clapping my hands here with my little, okay, then I fold it over, press, open it up, then fold inward. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's how you create an origami kite. All right, to make sure that the placement of these six arms is really good, I always make some creases. So I fold here and here like this, and then like this. And then I know where to put my first two, okay? Because this is the center, the intersection of two lines, right? So geometry is a big deal. I loved geometry in school because it was art, but math too. And then here, line those up perfectly. And this is a good start. So now I know where to put my next two arms equidistantly. You can use a protractor to do this, but if you have good eyes, you can kind of place them perfectly. All right. So I'm gluing everything down nice and neat and I'm just making a design as I go and you can do that too. Anything goes. I did cut off the black paper, you don't have to. It looks great, I love it. I hope you enjoyed doing this, but if you want to do something a little easier, here's another way. So you fold your paper, the big paper, you're gonna put everything on again to make triangles. Okay, to get that center dot in the middle of the intersecting lines. And then you make your kites just like before. This time I'm just using white paper. It's having a nice, simple, white, um, beautiful snowflake. And I'm folding all of my kites. And now I'm going to put them on just in four corners. And that's it. Now I have two beautiful designs to hang up and they're just gorgeous. I hope you enjoy making your snowflakes and I'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.